day three and another road trip. I've done more, well, we've done more drive, you've done more driving, but I'm going to drive now. You want me to drive now? No, I'll drive. Okay, you've done more driving this holiday than we do at home. Usually people have to pay for this sort of content, but Jazz is... Jazz got a sore toe today. This is a lifestyle vlog, isn't it? You know what I mean? Don't say we don't include you in our life. <laughs> All right, you absolute stinking legends. Today we move from Brisbane. We go down the coast about an hour to Queensland. Where there's beautiful gold beaches. And there's a place literally called Surfer's Paradise. To see an Australian legend, four-time CrossFit Games athlete, James Newbury. Who this year kind of didn't even expect to be making it to regionals, but he did. And here he is. Shall I let you choose? You want a creamy coffee? I'll have a cappuccino. Or I'll leave you with this hood wrap. <laughs> <laughs> we got to spend a day with him, hang out, train, and see his crib. Alrighty. It's a fun one. Down at the uh, drop zone? Definitely no. Forget. What? <laughs> no. So in July, I'm going to go get my skydive ticket. July 7th, I start, and it's a five day skydive, how to skydive solo. And so I think you get three jumps with a, with a buddy, like a tandem, yeah. and then they just send you out. No part of me wants to jump out of a plane. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> I've done it once, so I don't know if I'll risk doing it again. I'm like, that was my chance, I survived. Yes. Box ticked, done. Yeah. <laughs> Coffee everywhere here is good, isn't it? Freaking wild everywhere. Yeah. So good. Even at, this is, I would say this was a, a supermarket, really. Yeah, we're getting swallowed today. Raw iron reminds me of real bodybuilding. I don't know why. Them big clangy plates, you know, on like Ronnie Coleman videos. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, buddy! It's all down. I want to snatch 100 kgs today. Fakey wanted to snatch, and I can never say no to snatches. <laughs> it's actually impossible. Oh, he's looking good, isn't he? He's looking good. He's like doing a bit of the testing of the snatches and running, one of the workouts today. I just hit 120 again. That's the second time in about, or well, since 2020. Actually, I didn't even hit it in 2021. It was so easy. Though. You don't need to think, just do, innit? it? Think, yeah. No need, no need to think, just do. And I actually <laughs> like felt James really Newbury did when he came here for a meeting and then said, "This is a lovely place. I'll move here." Three days later. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta pull the trigger more yeah. often yeah. without thinking. Yeah, Craig. <laughs> I love it, so pumped. <laughs> Wanna fight? Yeah, nice! Had to say that one, didn't I? <laughs> Good job. I sat there for a while. You did, you got it. I sat there. <laughs> oh, wait, not today. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pulled me straight out of position. Straight out of it. I knew it from the moment I pulled it. Like it's not bad, like it's there. I told you it wasn't as bad as you thought it was. But it's, you know some days when you just don't have that there yet. Like now, like. That was good though. It's coming. Yeah, 145 is one kilo off my PB from the floor. So I mean, with not training for a week, I'll take it. Anyway, a bit bodybuilding, then we're gonna go beach.
You're just getting the uh, glutes ready for the beach, you know what I mean? Glutes and lower back. Oh yeah. Women, man, when they see them lower erectors... They, they nothing makes a lady <laughs> excited to say hello. <laughs> like well-formed QLs, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the lats. They, love they the lats. say chest and bodies are the, you know, the muscles for the beach, but no, they... No, it's the erectors and lats. Yeah. yeah. Hold on, this is absolutely wild. He trains at 5 a.m. He's one of those. Oh, I never used to be. I used to be like an eight, nine o'clock starter, but now life is full, so I have to get it done earlier. I don't get it done. So, and then, so five till when? Five till six thirty. And you're done. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. How many times a week? Maybe like four, four mornings a week. Then you have the whole rest of the day. So as long as team, as long as you build your base fitness over years and years and years, train six times a week, 14, 15 sessions, make it to the games multiple times, then you can chill out and only train four times a week. Yeah, and I'll do a like- And I'll still do, be incredible. I'll do one sprint session a week. So I'll go to the track and I'll sprint once and that's usually like eight, eight to 10 by 120s or something like that, or hundreds or 80s. And then one long run a week. So Royce, Dunn, for those of you who don't know Royce, big boy. He was on yesterday's video, the giant guy that lives off Coca-Cola. <laughs> he came to Auckland with me and I was wanting to do some running and I said, Royce, I'm gonna go for a 10K run. And he goes, I've never run 10Ks in my life. And I said, this is the time. Let's go for a 10K run. He ran his first ever 10K with me and he loved it. And then he said, they stopped and you turned around and ran back. That's correct. <laughs> Now, one thing that you'll see a lot on this vlog, you know, over the next probably two or three weeks is bodybuilding. When I'm traveling a lot of the time, like, and we're with people, I want to experience the places that we're going. I want to hang out. I don't want to be in the gym all day doing a three hour weightlifting session. So usually I'll just hit a big lift for the day. And I was actually stoked with today's 145. That's kind of crazy, actually, considering how I was feeling. But the work's adding up. You know, we don't quit mentality. Also talking about the t-shirt, it's dropping tomorrow at 12 p.m. BST, limited, go snag one. But yeah, usually I'll just hit a big lift, you know, take about half an hour, and then I'll do a good half an hour, 45 minutes of just bodybuilding. And I feel like that's a good way to train when I'm on holiday. You know, I'm not hitting the program as I should be, but I'm keeping my body ticking over, and I'm making these daily sick vlogs for you. So who's the real winner? You guys and me. Hey. So yesterday we kind of toured around Brisbane and you saw the sights and the beautiful kind of aura of the place. Or as Justin Medeiros would say, the aroma of the place. <laughs> Today we're touring around Queensland and more specifically, I think it's called Miami. Or Burley. Or near surface paradise anyway. If you hit the, if you hit the tram tracks, you will get a scent. That's incredible, that. Yeah, we get acai bowls in England. Come on, man. I don't know what you guys have over there, yeah, It's just not that common. Uh, yeah. I was going to ask you, because we didn't ask you in the gym, how's it feel? How, how do you feel today? I feel like I'm on cloud nine right now. Honestly, Back at the 100 Club. I haven't snatched a hundred in five years. I'm feeling extremely heavy. Yeah. It's all due to uh, Jasmine's coaching. Well, it's actually funny because Jazz watches every one of my lifts for the last like two years. So Jazz is actually my coach. I have no idea what I'm doing myself, but <laughs> blended or a smoothie and so you don't eat anything when yeah, you get up. No. No. So you don't eat until 11 o'clock in the morning? So after you train? Correct. Yep. And you spent $25 on the acai bowl? Yeah. Yeah, that's my treat. <laughs> but that's the, the aim of the game is to try and get as much colour in as I can. And when I get this, I can get, I get brown, I get green, I get yellow, I get purple, I get blue, I get red, I get all the colours. And that's all I'm really looking for. Diet advice for James Newbury. Just <laughs> fit as many colours into your diet as possible. There you go. Get all the nutrients. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? Everywhere we go, beautiful food. Can I destroy it? Destroy the niceness. It's a beautiful little charade of shops. There's a pool in the apartment across from the sea. Team, like this video, share this video, uh, <laughs> buy hustle clothes. And one day, we might live there. I, I think that's way out of our price range, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think we'll ever be able to afford that. Fakey, do you want to share an apartment? Yeah, I'll go half of you. No, we need to find a lot more people. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be about 30 of us. 20 of us living in like a two-bed <laughs> apartment. It's like a timeshare. We can have a week each. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Look at that view. <sighs> Come to our own weekend. Oh, party house. Oh, so we've left the car. James is already shirtless. 
We're eating our oak berries, waiting for you guys at the wrong side. We walk towards you. James realizes he's still wearing his knee sleeves. There you go, Vakey, get it off. Oh, get it off. Get it off. Oh, flicks. Yeah. Free that. Got rid of the knee sleeves. Yeah. <laughs> and the t-shirt. I figured it wasn't appropriate for a hike. Yeah. A few weeks ago, there was a big sandbar out here and there was a couple of rock pools that had made their, made their little home here and some of the sharks got caught in there. So there was a bunch of these baby hammerhead sharks that all just got caught in there and people were in there snorkeling with them and taking video footage and it was freaking wild, just in here. <coughs> Horrendous this. Again, don't know why anyone would want to live here or visit. Go surfing. Then I'd happily snorkel. It's like, no, they're just like too tiny oh, to eat you. They're super friendly. Yeah, fish are friends, oh. not food. So are humans. You tell them that. Look at that dude there, just with his guitar. Lovely Monday, overlooking the view. It's a lot of that, isn't it? That's not a vibe. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Dog a day keeps the blues away. Oh my goodness, doesn't it? Right, here we, we're going to Burley Head National Park. This is beautiful. So excited right now. And we're going to a place called Cock Rock. We are indeed. Apparently it's hard. Apparently it's a big hard rock. No one likes a soft... Uh, this is a PC channel. If you spot a bush turkey, it's got like a red and yellow face. Don't look it in the eye and just move past real fast because they're super aggressive. So, one this one, don't, don't look at talk it. about it. Don't look at it. Don't talk about it. Don't worry, I've got a stick. <laughs> <laughs> they smell your fear. <laughs> On the next part of this vlog, it's Jazz beating a bush turkey with a stick. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Wow, this is nice. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why no anyone would want to visit. Horrible, isn't it? It's a horrible, horrible place. Disgusting. <laughs> you have to get a photo down there. No, no way. What's that? What is it? What is it? It is, it's called, so most people know it as Cock Rock, yeah. but it's um, scientific name is Cocos Rockus. <laughs> it just projects out. Yes. Cocos Rockus. In Latin, Cocos Rockus. <laughs> Fact of the day. <laughs> Simba. Huh? It's just like in The Lion King, except instead of Mufasa, it's a bloody idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Watching James on that ledge. Put your hands up, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> you just look at the rock, it's not so bad. This has actually been so much fun. I'm just climbing the rocks. I feel like I'm a kid again. James, uh, James Newbury, Man of the Earth. Look at that, just turn around. You're picking up the litter on the trail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mate, this is everywhere. Gotta look after, gotta look after what we got here. Wow. That ambiance. My time says iced coffee time. <laughs> gotta, gotta do it. Oh, all right. The one. The brownie cookie. I'll go one. Let's Could go. we get um, four cookies and a diet coke, please? Look at you, Jazz, eh? Help. <laughs> Lady for the people. I was like, do you no, want everyone one? Everyone was looking was at like, the cookies. No, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. And then I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get one. <laughs> and they all got, and they all got FOMO. So. She's a neighbour. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Australian vibe. This is Australian vibe. Get Hashtag visit Brisbane. Uh, sorry, Bri visit Queensland. <laughs> yes. Yes. So you've been to this salad place at least once a day for the last four weeks. Uh, yeah, so every day that I'm here on the coast, I come here at least once a day. And how many dollars do you spend here? 
Uh, so it depends if I add extra tofu and extra rice noodles, it's like $21. But if I don't add the extras, then it's um, $16.95. Nice. <laughs> but I will say if I do want to upgrade, I'll go to the Woolies and I'll get some blueberries and raspberries and put them on top. And then maybe sometimes I will add some extra alfalfa sprouts. But then if I get it at home, I'll add in some extra sauerkraut. Uh, what colours are in this salad? All the colours yes, of the rainbow. Yes, there we go again. So Here we go. Green, blue, red, yellow, purple, orange, brown, brown. and white. white. And then if I add the blueberries, blue. Oh, I said blue. Oh, and red. Oh, I said red. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, D. Whoa. It opens the whole way. Oh, whoa. Damn. And then. Wow. Like if I want to lock up and go overseas or go into the state for a couple of days, I'm just going to close the doors. We've got some damn essential oils here. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that in the bag of my... oh. Does smell nice. I smell like I'm in a spa. It is very sparish. Well, I'll bring some down for the sauna. Oh my goodness. We're going in. So, this beautiful apartment that overlooks the world, there's Jurassic Park just over there. <laughs> also has a sauna, steam room? Yep. Pool? Yep. On a 20 odd deck. We're having a good time today, eh? I hope you can tell. And I've got some black magic, uh, which is a salad. So I'm trying not to get the white. I'm covered in essential oils. Smells lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Food in a teapot. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Look at the little tea mugs. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, that's my, um, I like that one. That's my favorite. There's some grills there, and then this is the communal work area of the place that you live. That is in... Wow, look at the wall! Jazz, if I would, if I was going to design a wall for Jazz to love at home, that would be the wall. There's parrots that live in the wall. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so you got the swing as well. They're thinking chairs, they are, aren't they? I probably won't get out. <laughs> Chamomile and mint tea. We lived a day like James Newbury. It's quite peaceful around here, isn't it? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> There's the pool. There's a jacuzzi around the corner. A sauna, a steam room inside. There's, a, there's actually a, a potential, potentially steam room, sauna. Cold showers. It's like having a spa day, but in your house. I know, it's lovely. Living like James Newbury, part 474 of the day. <laughs> Essential oils. Uh, what one we got today? So in here we have um, lavender and RC. Show me a sauna with a better view. Look at that sky. The sun's going down and there's a perfect way to end the day. Puppies and beer. Oh my goodness, so Gold Coast is known for some good... Queensland is known for some good breweries. Bre Precinct Brewing Co. Oh. Happy fix, baby, happy fix. Hello, Papa! <laughs> oh my goodness, guys! That's my jumper! That's literally my jumper! <laughs> so cool. You're so playful! Uh, Hi! Just had a run for like an hour or two. What are they called? This one's Georgie. Georgie's 10 months. <laughs> giant, giant too. puppy. Got the energy. Yeah, and that's Chip, he's five. He's a bit more of an old man, but... Uh, Where are you trying to escape to? We got beers! <laughs> Tell me we're in Australia without telling me you're in Australia. Here's the one, does he pull funny faces at the window? Yes. Yeah, I'm like, you got to get a vacant shit, send you a video to insert here. It would be... I will. I will. <laughs> this place is a vibe. Oh, yeah. Honestly team, what a fun day. I hope it came across on the vlog. James is one of the nicest, super cool guys you'll ever meet. <laughs> we got to try essential oil smelling, saunas, 
multiple colored foods, snatches, sun, sea, sand, and exploring. I don't know, I don't think it could have got much better. But yeah, then it was time to head home, back up to Brisbane for another exciting day coming tomorrow. If you did enjoy this video, team, smash that like button. And if no one's told you today, you're an absolute legend. Shop Hustle made tomorrow, 12 p.m. BST. Catch you in the next one.